All right. Oh, greetings, greetings, fellow grade elevens. Uh, it's Mr. Shachwayo again. Now, so we are still examining our probability, right? So now, what is uh, what is it that we are looking at now? Basically, we are looking at this Venn diagram uh, question that you are given. Now they say uh, a survey was done amongst eighty learners uh, on their favorite sport. Now the results show these uh, this following, right? Fifty two likes rugby, 42 likes volleyball, 5 likes chess only. Now, this is important, chess only. Now, they say 14 like rugby and volleyball, but not chess. And uh, 12 like uh, what rugby, chess, but not volleyball. And 15 like uh, what uh, volleyball and chess, but not rugby, right? Now we are having ex learners who like uh uh what uh, who like these three types of sports and three learners who like nothing from this. The first question is they want us to draw a Venn diagram. What is it that we do when we are drawing a Venn diagram? Let's start. Obviously, you draw your shape, right? You draw your shape representing a Venn diagram, right? So we are going to draw your shape here. Uh, and then you are also going to draw your three cycles. I uh, are then going to draw your three circles, right? Uh, remember, you are having these three events, and all these events have something in common, right? So which means you are going to have these three events. Uh, now, and after that, you are going to have the other cycle, even though my cycle look like something else, right? But at least you see. Probably they look better than yours, right? I'm kidding. Uh, now, so this is going to be uh, another cycle, right? Uh, which we are going to draw. And you are also going to draw a last cycle in here, right? And remember, yours are going to be within this uh, sample space. And now, what is it that we are then going to do after that is, uh, we are going to say now, uh, from here, uh, from here now, we are going to say uh, now, uh, this is going to be, uh, this is going to be our, this is going to be our Venn diagram. So we are going to start here. What is it that you are having here? You are given that the middle or the intersection part, it is given by what? It is given by X. Uh, and then uh, from there, what is it that you are going uh, to do? Now we are going to check what else are we given? So let's start with, uh, our two sharing. Uh, now for our uh two sharing, what is it that we are going to do? We are going to uh check in terms of uh what is it uh that we are given. So here we are given that we are having fifteen. So now we are having fifteen learners who like chairs and volleyball. Now let's start by firstly naming this. We are having this as your what? Uh, we are having this as your rugby. Uh, this is as your rugby, you are having this as your volleyball, and this as your chairs. Already you know that you have three outside because they said this three is the one that likes nine of these sports, right? And now from there, we are going to start here. Now, uh, we are having 15 learners. So they say 15 like what? They like volleyball and what? Volleyball and what? Uh, and chairs. So this is going to be uh, volleyball and chairs. So the volleyball and chairs is this one and this one. So which means uh, in this uh, particular thing, you're having what? You're having 15. You are having 15 in here, right? And they said, but uh, not, which means this is those who like volleyball and chairs only. So you are not going to subtract the X, which is the uh, intersection. So these ones like volleyball and chairs only. The but not rugby means only, right? Similarly, now, uh, for the ones who uh who likes uh rugby and chairs uh, and chairs, the ones who like rugby and chairs, they are twelve. So, which means here we are going to have what you are going to have your twelve. I would get. And if this is your twelve, and then now, uh, what else then are you going to do? You are going to say, <coughs> sorry, now, uh, those who now like what. Uh, who like rugby and volleyball but not chess rugby and volleyball they are going to what they are going to be 14 so this is going to be the representation of rugby and volleyball and thereafter you are going to now start and and see now from here let's start with this one 
Now they are saying you are having five that like uh, chairs only. As soon as they say chairs only, which means now already they've su uh, subtracted your intersection. So what is required of you here, you're just going to like write five here because those are the ones that indeed like uh, chairs only. And indeed, if you are uh, moving from here, all these ones that are in here, they like chairs only. So this is indeed the uh, representing or the representation of chairs only. And now to get in terms of what is going to be your rugby, you see your rugby now are uh, those who like rugby, they are 52. So you're going to say now 52, you subtract what? 52 subtracts your what? Uh, the 14 that is part of the circle and the 12 that is part of the circle, right? So you say 14 subtracts 12 uh, and then subtract the X because the intersection is also going to be subtracted from that, right? So which means what is the other that you are getting? This is same as 26, subtract X. All to get. Similarly, now for volleyball, what is the volleyball that you're having? You're having 42. So this is going to be 42, subtract 14, subtract 15. And when you're subtracting that, subtract also X because uh, now the intersection is also part of this circle, right? It's also part of this circle. And now this is going to be same as 13, subtract X. How to care. So that's basically going to be your probability. And then now your 9.1 will then be given by what? Your 9.1 will be given by what? Now they say uh, this is going to be your uh, Venn diagram. So this is the Venn diagram representing this totality. How to care. Then you are covered. Your five marks are gone. You've taken it. Now your 9.2. Your 9.2, they want you to what? To show that uh, now your velo. Uh, your x is 8. Now, what is it that you are going to do? To show that the value of your x is 8, you are going to add everything. You are going to start here. You are going to say, look, now the 26 subtract x plus the 14 uh, plus the x plus the 12 plus the 13 subtract x plus the 15 uh, plus the 5 plus the 3 must give you 80 right all of these when you add them together must give you eight and then after that now what is it that you are going to get now to have for this now when you say now look you have 26 uh plus uh you have 26 uh plus what uh plus eight uh i mean 26 plus 14 plus 12 plus 13 uh plus 15 plus 5 plus 8 is equals to 80 so uh, the totality that you are going to have, all of these, when you add them together, they are going to give you 88. And then now you are having 88 and this you are having negative X. So this negative X will cancel the what? The positive X here. So both of these are going to cancel. So you are left with negative X. So you're having 88 subtract X is equals to 80. And therefore, when you are solving for X, your X is going to be the same as 88 subtract your 80. And your X is going to be given by 8. Then now we have successfully proven that indeed your x is equal to 8. And now your 9.2. Now 9.2, they want you to what? Uh, they say how many learners, uh, or rather how many of these learners like what? Uh, like uh, only rugby. Only rugby. And what is going to be only rugby now? Uh, only rugby is going to be only this one that is in here, right? But now, remember here, you are having 26 subtract x. So, which means this is same as what? So, the probability of rugby only, it is going to be what? Uh, it is going to be same as this uh, 26. When you say 26 subtract your x, and what is the x is 8. So, which means this is 26 subtract 8. And 26 subtract 8 is 18. So, the probability of rugby only is going to be given by what? The probability of rugby only is going to be uh, uh, what? It's going to be 18. Or rather, they said... Uh, learners, they didn't say probability, so this is going to be what it's going to be 18. You are not saying you are not writing the probability, so this is the same as just only 18. How to care now? Let's look at this. Now, they say, uh, now choosing random, what is the probability that likes at least two types of spots? Two types of spots. Now, let's start here at least two types of spots, right? So, which means now, uh, you are going to start here, those who would like at least. Uh, two types of spots which means now let's understand this they can like two spots they can still like what more right which means they can like also three spots altogether they like two up until three but not one because one is not at least right so which means the probability are uh, here the probability of at least two so the probability of 
uh, to sports uh, at least right at least is going to be what is going to be like this now like if you check this 14 this 14 is the probability of what is the probability of two sports so it's going to be 14 and if you check this 15 this is the probability of uh, what of uh, also two spots so this is going to be uh 15 plus the 12 here it is the probability of what of two spots and the eight here still uh uh fall amongst the what still falls amongst the ones who are at least two remember it can be two or more so this is going to be also 12 and what and eight uh what so this is going to be what when you add all of these is going to be 49 so which this is going to be same as 49 over eight how about you get and so that is going to be basically the probability of at least two spots how to get then you plug this in your calculator and then you get your answer and indeed this is the probability of at least two spots so basically this is how you attempt questions on venn diagram how to get thank you very much